Ooh. Using up to 100 to 1 leverage, and we have more investors than ever borrowing to buy stocks. Man. When this comes crashing down, and I'm, I can't say when it will come crashing down, but it will, people are going to feel it. Let's hop into this news. So Bitcoin traders using up to 100 to 1 leverage are driving the wild swings in cryptocurrencies. 100 to 1 leverage. If you don't think that Bitcoin or any cryptocurrency could have some sort of correlation or causation to stocks falling, we need to open our eyes to this today. Traders taking excessive risk in the Bitcoin market being forced to sell when the price goes down were the bigger culprits for last week's 30% drop in Bitcoin prices, according to analysts. Bitcoin traders liquidated roughly $12 billion in leveraged positions last week, as the price of the cryptocurrency spiraled, according to BYBT.com, a cryptocurrency futures trading platform. All right, so this goes on to say that Bitcoin's aggressive moves are being driven by much more than the next China crackdown or Elon Musk headline. Traders taking excessive risk in the unregulated cryptocurrency market, which it is, be it is becoming more regulated. There are some regulations on crypto. It's just not hardcore as of yet. But unregulated cryptocurrency market being forced to sell when prices go down were in large part responsible for last week's 30% drop in prices and outages for major exchanges. According to analysts, the price of cryptocurrencies tanked last week with Bitcoin losing roughly a third of its value in a matter of hours. Bitcoin popped to nearly 40000 on Monday but is still down about 33% from its high. Now, guys, if you are interested here, we need to see what happens around this $40,000 mark because it's, let me see where Bitcoin's at right now at this very second. I'm just opening up Coinbase because it's going to be the easiest. It might not be the best price, but it's what most people are going to go by, right? So Bitcoin right now is sitting at 39000 For the week, we've hit 42000 was the high, right? Almost forty-three, but around this $40,000 range, this is what we need to focus on because if Bitcoin can't break through this, this is why my buy limits are set at 22,000. If we can't break through this, I don't think that this is the end of the sell-off and we're waiting for the next Elon Musk tweet. At any moment, the down spiral can continue. So even if you're starting to see green on the board, I don't know if we're in the clear yet. Please trade with caution if this is what you're into. More importantly, this story is just about the amount of margin that is being used. This goes on to say when traders use margin, they essentially borrow from their brokerage firm to take a bigger position in Bitcoin. People do the same thing in stocks, and we're about to talk about that here in just a second. This is why you need to be in hard assets. Gold, silver, I'm not really a big fan of real estate at the moment, but hey, if you've got the argument that it's going to keep going up and inflation is going to push these prices higher, maybe be in real estate. Right now, my big focus and my focus has been for a couple years is precious metals. They will have their time to shine. Yes, the banks are beating them down right now, but I can promise you when the, when the script is flipped and it's going to flip. It's, it's going to be a bad day. It's probably going to be a bad day for gold and silver as well, primarily more gold. But when these margin calls start to come in, everything is going to be liquidated. Everything. If you've got a good stack of gold and silver and you're happy with your stack, you might could wait patiently on the sidelines for, for that release and price to come in, maybe get in at a better price. But if you do not have any precious metals, they are on sale. Even with gold being on the move, it's still on sale. And silver, silver has got to be the most undervalued asset that you could get into. That is real money and it has been for thousands of years. So if prices go down, they have to pay the brokerage firm back in what's known as margin call. Hello, alarm bells going off. As part of that, there's often a set price that triggers selling in order to make sure traders can pay the exchange back. Hello, it's coming. Let's move on over to this. Now, I don't want to, I actually don't care to read this article, but it is something that we need to know about. Um, and you can have different opinions on it. 
But listen to this. More investors than ever are borrowing to buy stocks. Here's what this really means for the market. Total margin debt has nearly doubled since March of 2000. That's up a really good bit. But the interesting thing here is people seem to think that when there's more margin or more borrowing than ever, more debt than ever to be used to get into the stock market, they think that that correlates with crashes. It actually does not. It just seems throughout time, more and more people get to learn about this margin. But at the same time, let's remember that, hey, just because everybody's doing it, or even if you think that the stock market is going to keep going up or whatever asset you're in, if you think it's going to keep going up, I still don't think that I would risk margin. Never. Let me know if you, how you actually feel about this, because I, I hear different arguments on this all the time. And in some circumstances... It's not a bad idea, but what I don't want to do is put myself in a bad position. Now, if you've got a, a, a strong backbone and, and you've got the guts to do it, if you were ever going to trade on margin or use any kind of borrowing to do trading, I would make sure that it is not going to wipe you out. See, this is where people get in trouble in any kind of debt, not just in the stock market, not just playing around with trading. Any kind of debt at all is over leveraging yourself. Never put yourself in this position. Ever. I'm being really stern here. And, and sorry if I'm harping. If I'm harping at you or if it feels that way, it probably means that you're over leveraged. Take a step back. How much debt is in your household? What do you need to pay off today? More importantly than anything, anything is to get your, pay, your debt paid off today as soon as possible credit card debt, your mortgage, the car payment, all of these things are important. While you're knocking off that debt, start acquiring precious metals. Gold when you can, and silver should just be almost automatic for you at this point. I'm not a financial advisor. Far from it. I actually, I do expect to see, when, when this script flips, I expect to see everything go down. There is too much debt out there. Far too much debt. There's far too much funny money being printed out there. And it only lasts for so long. The Fed has put themselves in a very difficult position. They are going to make this transition that we're going through now as smooth as possible, but there will be hiccups and kinks along the way. And their plan might not work exactly as they had hoped for. Get yourself ready for this. Along with that, if I could say before I end this video, precious metals, yes. Now that you have precious metals, what are you going to do to protect those precious metals? Do you have a way to protect that stuff? Think about security. Think about that, especially if for some reason somebody, your family, your friends, whoever it might be, your neighbors, if they know that you're into precious metals, what's going to happen when they're hungry, their kids are crying, they can't pay their mortgage, uh, they might show up at your door and it's not going to be a friendly greeting. Think about security here. On top of that, I know I'm going to sound like some kind of doomsdayer here, but you need to have food and water set aside. If you lost your job, precious metals can get you by, right? But I would rather buy storable food today than think about buying it, I don't know, a year or two from now when prices are far higher than they are today. I don't think that we're going to see the inflation slow down. Inflation is here to stay. I don't think that this can be controlled at this point. You cannot print that much money and throw that much money into the economy without some sort of repercussions. It can't be done. Invest in yourself, be very diversified, and be liquid. Be, whenever I say be liquid, be ready for any scenario. I say to get food and water because, well... I've mentioned the inflation, but let's let's take things a step further. If your city is far too dangerous to go out in because everyone is running around like headless chickens and they don't know what it's what's about to happen next, crime continues to increase. I might not want people to know that I'm doing okay. I might not want people to see me at all. Depending on how bad this gets, I don't want to be doom and gloom here. I really don't. But we're, we're headed for something bad. I can't tell you when it's going to happen. It could happen tomorrow. It could happen three years from now. But you need to be ready for the situation. As ready as you can be. There is too much debt floating around. And our economy cannot support it right now. 
I go back to that three-day system. We talked about the colonial pipeline hack. If that was not resolved, you can think about the story however you want. Purposeful, unpurposeful, total accident, or they really got hacked. I don't care what you think about the situation. You are not in control of that situation, but you can be in control of your household. Get your house in order before the cards come crashing down. I don't know how much time that you have to do that. Now, again, I would like to say, if you do enjoy this kind of content, please do like, share, and subscribe. I do have a Twitter and an Instagram. I'm not the most active person, but if anything happens, I can at least reach you guys from Twitter or Instagram. Every Thursday, I should be doing a show with my friend Tony Arterburn. I'll give you guys some more details on that when the show comes out. We actually should be doing our first podcast this Thursday, so coming up pretty soon. Every Thursday, we should have some content for you there. It all revolves around gold, silver, and a little bit of crypto, guys. Don't be scared of the crypto talk. Don't be scared of the gold talk. Come and learn something new. Now, if you're not into that, please go check out the Truth, Money, and Freedom Discord. It will be in the links below. Everything is always in the links below, guys. Go check that stuff out. It's a good community to be in if you want to learn kind of... I'm not going to say how to navigate these markets per se, but if you want to get opinions from people that are normal, everyday people, not financial advisors, but, you know, we're doing a decent job at protecting the wealth that we have, go check out the Truth, Money, and Freedom Discord. It's, if you're new to any of this, there are people there that can help you. Um, where's the best place to buy silver today? There's somebody in there that's going to know the best place because it's got the best price and probably lowest shipping. Where's the best place to go and buy crypto because I don't want to get eaten up in my trading by fees. Somebody there can give you that information. What's the new hot crypto that might be out? Somebody there has got information on that. That's all I have for you guys today. Thanks again. Uh, hopefully there will be another video coming out here shortly today. Not positive just yet, but I'll catch up with you guys next time. Bye-bye.